Ohio Senate will be voting on an amended transportation budget this evening. As Ohio State House Newsroom reporter Jason Aubrey tells us, the nearly $8 billion budget now includes a 6% increase to the gas tax and a number of other changes. The Senate removed several items from the House version of the bill and reduced the amounts of others after conducting its own evaluation of the state's needs. Coming out of the House bill is the elimination of front license plates on vehicles. Regulations to deal with electric scooters and traffic cameras were also cut. But the big changes were to the gas tax and public transit funding. The budget contains a six cent gas tax increase, down from the 10.7 cents the House agreed to. And it sets aside $40 million for public transit, down from $100 million. The ranking minority party member of the committee says it's better than what they started with. But the bill doesn't do enough. There really isn't the investment that we wanted to see in public transportation at this point in time in 2019, um, given what the people of the state of Ohio want in urban areas, in suburban areas, and in rural areas. They are crying for public transportation. Chairman of the committee, Senator Rob McCauley, did not support the bill and voted not to send it to the floor of the Senate. He was joined by Senator Michael Rooley from the Youngstown area in doing so. In my view, any tax increases deserve an offsetting tax cut. And I've publicly made that statement up in my district, and I would say that my district wholeheartedly agrees with that. Um, and so, respectfully to the, to the members of my chamber, and I respect the, their conclusion here, but um, I need to do what I promise to the members of my, or the constituents of my district. When the transportation budget passes through the Senate, it will head back to the House for a concurrence vote. That vote is likely to fail. That will mean it will have to go to conference committee where both sides will have to work out a deal to get a final bill and send it to the governor before the end of the month. At the State House, Jason Aubrey, NBC4.